Insider Science College Instagram. It's Katie Barlow, class of 2025, officially signing in. Some of you may know me as your tour guide. Some of you may have seen me at the pool when you've come to visit on campus. But today, I am going to be your 24-7 resource for anything or sinus. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below, and we'll see how we can answer. This is a single. This is what a CPS. This is her closet over here. <laughs> and then me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the fridge. Hi everyone, so this is actually what a double is going to look like at her sinus, and fun fact, this is my room. So we're going to start with my side, here's my closet, this is our fridge and our microwave, this is my desk, these are my swishmallows, <laughs> this is my bed, my bureau. We have such a cool view of our room on campus, and then this is my roommate's side, Ooh, she's also got some squishmallows going on in there. And then that's our door. Great question. So I'm actually in the Gold Ambassador office right now. But I was really just talking with my admissions counselor and saying how much I loved her sinus and how much I wanted to help other prospective students get that same feeling and that same experience and see kind of what led me here and share my story with them. So when I got here in the fall, I applied and I went through the training process and I could not be more grateful for my job or the people that I work with. It is absolutely amazing and I definitely recommend. So I chose our sinus for so many reasons, but here are the top two that I want you to know. So especially after spending um, two years in isolation and quarantine, I really realized the value of interaction and personal attention. And that's something that you just get here from the minute that you walk on campus. Um, I like to think our admissions office does a great job, but it's just so fantastic that everybody is just so invested in each other and it really speaks to the power of a small school. The second thing is, it allowed me to be an athlete, a student, a leader involved in service, have a job, and kind of none of those things had to suffer. I could be the best version of myself and I could be the full version of myself here and the campus culture is just so motivated to be involved in so many things and to do all things really, really well. I would definitely say that my favorite or sinus tradition is probably midnight pancakes. Um, it's really funny to see all of your professors dress up in their pajamas and it's so nice that they will serve you the pancakes late at night uh, when they have to be there just as early in the morning, sometimes earlier than we do. And they're just so kind and they're so encouraging and they know you by name and they want to know how you're doing in a really like high stress environment of studying for finals, especially for freshmen. It's like our first college finals. So it was so nice and the atmosphere was just so great because everybody was singing karaoke, having a great time, and we were all just able to bond over some really good food and some really great people. My best advice for making friends is definitely to say hello and smile at everybody you see. Take advantage of the time where freshmen are the only people on campus. A lot of people are going to leave their dorm room doors open, so pop in and say hello. A conversation about, oh, I like your dorm, could lead to be your best friend of the next four years and further. Definitely sit next to people in Wismer, sit next to people at academic convocation, say hi to the people that you're close with in class. If you see somebody that's with your CIE class and then that lives on your floor, say hi to them. Everybody's looking for friends, nobody has a set group yet, and you're all experiencing this together. It really is going to help you get on your way to answering that question of how should we live together.
So I definitely never expected to become a double major and a double minor, but I did come into college really set on politics and international relations. It's something that I'm really passionate about, and they have an amazing program and department here. What I didn't expect was taking Arabic. I thought it was going to be something cool that would help me distinguish myself when I was applying to grad school, but I only thought I was going to take two semesters. However, when I got here, I loved it so much that I wanted to continue, and I realized I was going to end up minoring anyway if I continued with it all four years. Business, that was a sleeper. I definitely realized that it was important to have a business background no matter what field you enter in, and in pertaining to international relations and politics, I think it's really important to understand the role that economics plays in those interactions and those interests and understanding the world from an economic perspective. I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's definitely a challenge, but as athletes, we're not afraid of a challenge. I know that my team is really good at holding each other accountable. Like on the weekend, we'll get a study space and we're building that team atmosphere inside and outside of the water. We're also all committed to a common goal. We want to raise that team GPA and maintain it. And women swimming did have the highest team GPA on campus, so that is something that we're really, really proud of. It definitely also really enhances your time management skills because you know that when you're in season especially, sometimes you'll have two practices a day and your weekends may be taken up by competition. So when you have an open space, you need to get your work done. Obviously, high school and college academics aren't the same, but Ursinus does have a lot of resources. Aside from the resources, being a small school really helps because your professors know you and they're going to be invested in your success and making sure that you go about the transition pretty peacefully. But in terms of resources, we have writing fellows who are committed to helping you write on a college level or speak on a college level when it comes to presenting and discussions. I know for me, that was a really, really big part of the transition because I never had to like do full presentations and had classes that were discussion-based before. Also, we have the Institute for Student Success, which provides academic coaching and also just some generalized information on study skills, time management, discipline, stuff like that. And we have our amazing academic advising cohorts, which sometimes have upperclassmen partners that'll sit in and give you advice on how to transition into the college experience academically.